fucking writers! <laughs> Isn't there one person out there with an original idea in his fucking head? The structure of the play basically follows the makers of television and those who watch it. And the television set is the thing that, that unites the two uh, uh, sides of the play. It is an extremely dark satire uh, that takes on reality television, television in general, and reality in general. The world that I'm in is the television world, which is uh, which takes place in the world of reporting and with the head of the network sort of figuring out programming and how to get people to watch TV. I play Stu. Stu is the uh, the head of the news division for the fictional SBS networks. He is kind of probably followed in the, the line of uh, Edward R. Murrow. He went into this business for, you know, for strict hard journalism and he came to the wrong network. My character is a very powerful television executive who is also insane and uh, fancies himself, I think, something of an artist, but uh, in terms of the way he thinks about the world and the, the way he thinks about television, I think he has a very, uh, what he would call, uh, you know, an eye to the future of television, but what is really probably just sheer lunacy. <laughs> what they are doing over there at CNN, what they have enabled themselves to do, is to marry the highest level of journalistic professionalism with a profitability unheard of in today's market. It's very, very seductive, that combination. <laughs> you probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about things like profitability. You're an artist. Reporter, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the head of the network. I think about it all the fucking time. I think Teresa has sort of written a, uh, you know, a social commentary um, about sort of the perils of, of entertainment and the media culture and, and what it sort of, how it affects people. And in this case, my character is this guy who sort of is obsessed with television and reality television. And I think he's been sort of rendered uh, incapable of, of connection and empathy because of it. It sort of blunted his capacity to, for fellowship and, and uh, being with other people. Is this show, I told you, a reality <laughs> These people live in this house and they like do things, you know, and then people vote about who should get kicked out. It's hard to explain. There is a historical moment when when a news anchor was also named the host of a reality show, and that was a kind of ins uh, inspiration for me. That moment, I, I thought when that happened, that you know, that there was something so alarming about the fusion of news and reality television. And so that became kind of something that had stayed in my imagination for a long time, and I um, kind of took that situation, pushed it. The news division doesn't think that what happens on reality television is news. It's reality. <laughs> Why shouldn't it be news? I never really watched Big Brother, which is really um, what this is based on a little bit, until I started doing research for the play. And then I got hooked. And that's, that's what blew me away, was how addictive it is. And the character Merv talks a lot about how, like, um, how reductive it is, how, how stupefying it is as a piece of, of culture, and yet it's addictive. And I found that I was really compelled. I'm watching Julie Chen host this idiotic show, and all of these idiots living in this house together arguing about the most mundane stuff that you can imagine and I'm like rooting for them I couldn't believe it but it did give me some insight into how that can infect somebody's consciousness that way we're down to the last challenge after tonight's battle you the viewer will decide who the winner of our house is going to be hopefully the audience can walk away going on a wild ride that's funny and a little bit scary and recognize the danger of allowing that television set to um, take up too much of your time. <laughs> it's a really wonderful ensemble piece between a wonderful artists and uh, I think the play itself delivers on many levels um, in, in the comedy and the tragedy of it and in the wonderful surprises that you'll see.